Mio, well known in the past as a traffic bottleneck, is now famous for its bridge over the Tarn Valley. A bridge between two limestone plateaus, the Côte Rouge to the north and the Côte du Larzac to the south. A 2,460 meter long bridge, the vital missing link in the motorway between Clermont-Ferrand and Béziers, opens up a whole region. Designed by Sir Norman Foster and the EEG, Cerf and Sogeler Consortium, it's built by the Effage Group, the civil engineering and steel construction experts. The first stone was laid on the 14th of December 2001. The work is completed in December 2004. The bridge rests on seven piers, the tallest of them towering 245 meters above the ground. So particular care was taken over the foundations of these piers. For each one, four pits were dug of four to five meters in diameter and 12 to 18 meters deep. The bearing plates for the piers to stand on are set in these pits. Once cast, these bearing plates, which can be up to six meters thick, are covered with earth so the viaduct blends harmoniously into the environment. The pier can now be cast. Two lines of formwork are installed. One on the outside, which rises at the same rate as the pier, four meters at a time using supporting rails and jacks. The other on the inside, which is put up gradually using the crane. The crane extends upwards at the same rate and the tallest will reach a height of 264 meters. At the same time, between each pier, rows of piles are put in to act as sort of temporary metal crutches to hold up the bridge floor while it's being put in place. The next stage consists in assembling the bridge floor. The steel sections were prepared in Alsace in the Eiffel plant at Lauterburg. The central bay was welded at Foss-sur-Mer. Each element is then assembled on site. The total length of the bridge floor is 27.4 meters. Next, one of the anchoring towers is installed on this bridge floor section. Fitted with temporary stay cables, it will be used to help position the first floor section onto the piers and temporary piles. Now comes the most delicate and the most spectacular part of the operation, positioning the bridge floor by timed shifting. At a rate of 9 meters per hour, every four weeks, 171 meters of bridge floor are shifted. The piers must be subjected to as little horizontal stress as possible. The synchronization must be perfect. The shifting is controlled by a central computer. The two ends fit to the nearest centimeter. The steel half decks are then welded 268 meters above the tarn. The cable towers assembled down by the river now have to be put up. They're welded on top of each pier. As soon as they're in place, the stay cables are installed. Now that the stresses are evenly distributed, the temporary rows of piles can be removed. The moment has come for the finishing touches to the bridge floor. Electrical fittings, traffic signs, operating systems and surfacing. It's the 17th of December 2004. The Pont de Millau is open to traffic. It's now a straight run from Clermont-Ferrand to Béziers with no hold-ups.
The project will have cost 320 million euros, two years of studies and three years of construction work for 600 workmen. Just one toll gate on the whole stretch, six kilometers north of Mio. It costs six euros ten cents for cars in July and August, four euros sixty the rest of the year for cars, and nineteen euros for lorries to use this superb bridge which blends gracefully into the landscape. A bridge with pure lines designed on a slight curve so that motorists can take it in at a glance before crossing. 2,460 meters long and 343 meters high, the Mio Viaduct is the highest in the world. Another technical achievement from Effage.